Hey everybody, this is Owen from Primal RC, and today I'll be showing you how to put stickers onto our new grave diggers. So today I'll be installing the standard edition grave digger stickers, but the collector's edition with the 40th anniversary sticker is very similar. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with the easiest sticker, which is the front eyelashes. And first we want to prep the surface, so I'm just going to clean it off quick. And these stickers go right above each of the front headlights. These have a clear backing, so they blend into the green hood a little bit easier. And they're also kind of complex, so make sure you get all the little extra clear parts out. You want to kind of get the center of the sticker down first, and then work your way out from the center. So I got the center in, and I'm going to work this way, and then work my way up the sticker. And then now the other side. And then something you can also do is use an old photo ID or credit card just the poor man's squeegee and flatten out any creases you may end up with. You can also use a heat gun. Um, these stickers are kind of thin so you want to go quick with the heat gun but that can also help get rid of some wrinkles. These are the front windshield stickers. The sharp corner goes in the bottom of each side and then they are slightly oversized so that they can overlap in the middle and you can cut the excess or just let the two stickers overlap if you want. So first step again to just clean it off. I like to start in these bottom corners so I can get them lined up. Alright, there's the bottom corner lined up and then I'm just going to slowly work my way down. Then I can slowly work my way up the side and then around the top. There we go. Okay, so that was one half, and then here is the other. Once again, I'm just going to line up this bottom corner first. There we go. Here you can see what I was referring to about the overlap. If you want, you can cut this off so they both meet perfectly in the middle, or you can just let these overlap a little bit. Next up is the roof stickers, and on the standard edition, it's actually two separate pieces. On the collector's edition, it's one piece, which is a little bit easier to get everything aligned. The most important thing to keep track of is you want this front edge to be as low down on the hood as possible, and then what you can do is end up cutting off some of the excess here. And then for this other sticker on the standard edition, you want to line this flat edge on the back of the sticker with the back of the truck. I'm going to clean it off the surface. So what I'm doing here is I'm essentially testing the fit where I tack it down in one spot and then I check to see if I'm centered and if I'm in the right place, like I almost am here, you can see I have a nice overhang on the front. So once I'm happy with the position of my roof sticker, I actually like to start this sticker at the back and then work my way forward and that's because the rounded front of the roof is kind of difficult to lay the sticker flat on. So I'm just going to start at the back because this is a really flat surface and I can slowly just work it and you're going to want to work from the center out always. Okay, so now that the roof is laid down flat all the way up to this front curved edge, um, once again, you're going to want to just start from the center. And sometimes I use the squeegee here, and sometimes I just use my fingers. Essentially, I'm trying to slowly work it around the front of the roof down to the windshield. And you can see I still I have some excess here that I'm going to cut off. So I, I do have some wrinkles here. I could come back with a heat gun and pull this up and get rid of those. But for the sense of time, I'm just going to show you here. Now you want to follow the body line and just leave a little bit of a gap and cut the end off. 
And you don't want to push hard with your knife so you don't cut the body. And you should just cut the sticker. And now the other side. Now for this rear sticker, which is pretty simple, we just want to make sure that we end up getting it centered. And once again, you can use the little screw holes here to line it up. And first we got to clean the surface. All right, and now we just center the sticker, leave about a one inch gap to the actual back of the truck. And then just like all the other stickers, we want to lay it down from the center and work our way out. And if you ever end, if you end up with a crease, you can just pull it up and then start working at it again. Here you can see a better shot of the roof sticker fully installed and how I centered the back and then also the front and how I ended up cutting. Okay, and now for the side sticker, which is probably one of the most difficult stickers because of the shape of the body and the size. But basically the way I like to, the way I like to do this is to have the body kind of resting on an angle on one of the tires. And the first thing you have to do before putting this sticker on is we actually have to remove the uh, roll cage screws. Sometimes the plastic washers can get stuck in the Lexan, so you just use a little pliers and you'll be able to pop it out. There are also backings on some of these that you also want to keep. Before we put the sticker on, I'll kind of explain my process here. So the first thing that I'd like to tack down is this body line that goes across the entire side of the truck. I like to lay the sticker on there first because this ridge is the hardest thing to get right. And basically if you start the sticker on the, the highest point of this ridge and then you work it into the top groove and into the bottom groove, then the rest of the sticker is just laying it flat on this surface and then flat on this surface. You can kind of float this sticker wherever you want, and that's why it's not perfectly cut out to the wheel wells, so that wherever you end up installing this sticker, we're going to come back at the end and cut out all the excess. For these side stickers, you can also use a little bit of soapy water on the back of the sticker, and this will essentially let you move it around a little bit before we fully put it down. If you end up using the soapy water, you're going to have to make sure that you really squeegee everything off really nice and you might also have to use the heat gun. So here I've kind of got the sticker just tacked into place where I want it. I'm first going to find this body line and I'm going to lay the sticker down along that body line first and try to prevent as many creases and everything. And this body line goes down the entire side of the truck. And then at the back here, it's also a little tricky. There's the body line kind of splits from the rest of the truck. So sometimes you have to come and put a little cut here so that the sticker divides nicely on the back. Here you can see I have everything lined up on this body line and then I slowly started working up and I'm trying to push as much of that soap out. So here you can see there's actually a bubble and this is a little soap bubble so if I just slowly work this up towards the edge you'll see there all the soap comes out. So you want to try to get as much of the soap out as possible because if the soap is still in there the adhesive isn't going to be doing its job and you can also always go back with a heat gun on low. And the heat gun will heat up the air underneath the sticker and any areas where there's still bubbles will actually get bigger as the air expands. And then in these spots, you can just work this crease and get that little bubble out. 
So now I got the top half of this sticker done and I'm going to slowly work my way down the rest of the sticker and it's essentially the same process. Okay, so I have the whole side now flattened down. So we have the top, this line, this body line is done. I have a little bit of a bubble here that I can come back and get to. And then before we come and cut all of the excess out for the wheel well here, I'm just gonna finish up the back here with some heat and I might end up cutting a little line here. And then before we cut the excess, we're also gonna wanna put our screws back in. You can see one of them goes right here and the screws kind of end up pulling the vinyl a little bit. So I like to put the screws in and then cut the excess. So for putting the screws back in, you can see one of them goes right here in the middle of El Toro. And essentially I like to heat up the area first and then I'll push the screw into the hole. And you don't need a lot of heat to get these stickers to start moving. And I just put the screw straight through the sticker. There we go. So now I can come in with my knife and you wanna push it up against the body and then just work your way down. And if you have a nice sharp knife, this should be pretty easy. And there we go, there's our wheel well. And this one is a little bit tricky with the way it wraps around the body, but you wanna cut this part of the window first and then fold everything over as much as you can and then go in and cut the bottom of the window out. So here you can see what I was talking about. You could actually cut the Lex in here to fit the sticker better if you want, or you could leave it, it's up to you. And then I do have a little bit of a black edge on the bottom that I could also cut off. So this has been a tutorial for how to install the stickers onto your Gravedigger body. And the left and right sides are obviously exactly the same. And just make sure uh, you take your time and go slow and you can make it look really nice in the end.